We've moved on to the garden, the perfect place to stop and smell the flowers. When you're not fending off the bugs, that is. Serena Alchel gives us the buzz. How often do you come out just to check on these guys and have a oh, look? Oh, about once a month. Have you been stung by these oh, guys? Oh, yeah. You could say biologist Justin Schmidt has been bitten by the bug. Actually, a lot of bugs. They are quite toxic. They're they about are. as toxic as a rattlesnake. I kind of make the analogy that if it took a rattlesnake, broke it into 500 pieces and added wings, you got honeybees. <laughs> He's devoted his life. This is a little boy. Uh huh. And well, his body to studying insect nice stings space. and venoms. I mean, isn't that a face that everybody would love? At his lab in Tucson, Arizona. How many times have you been stung? Probably somewhere between one and two thousand times. He's been stung so many times that he figured all that pain could be helpful. So he came up with what he calls in his recent book the Schmidt scale of pain. Stings from 84 different insects are rated on a scale from one to four and accompanied by some imaginative descriptions. So people would be surprised to see all the different descriptions because sometimes it's a hot pain, sometimes it's an itchy pain, a burning. Yeah, exactly, they're, they're, they're quite different. Like the tarantula hawk is an electrifying one. Feels like you, you know, how the electric power line break off and land on you. Ah, so you describe the sweat bee as light, ephemeral, almost fruity. What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about, it's just, just a little tiny thing, very light, it's almost like a teasing pain. It's just, hey, open your arm up, let me out, I, I don't mean any harm. And the harvester ants found just outside his front door, they're an excruciating three out of four on his scale. Well, this sting, to me, is one of the more painful of all of them. It feels like somebody's reaching under your skin and ripping out tendons and muscles. But Schmidt isn't just studying what the stings feel like. He's also trying to understand why insects sting in the first place. Insects are tiny, tiny little things, and things that want to eat them are big. So you got this basic problem. How do you defend a little guy, a really little guy, against a really big guy? and the sting turns out to be the solution. So while it may not feel like it to us, most insect stings are purely defensive. And if they stung us, yep. we say, oh, this is the trouble, then they leave this, this stinger is left in your skin. Right. And what it does is it has a little flag on it. Right. And this flag is like a sponge. It's got chemicals in it. It's huh. this kind but of odor. But it's communicating back to them Oh, yeah, that's what it tells them. It's, huh. it's an alarm family and says, hey, gals, yeah. get alert. There's bad news, I found the trouble, it's right here. Insects can be a nuisance to be sure, but there is a silver lining to all that pain. It turns out stings can be useful in finding better ways of dealing with pain itself. And one of the projects I'm working on right now is trying to alleviate chronic pain in human beings. We have cancer or, or many other diseases that have chronic pain, and the solutions we have are very blunt. So, Schmidt is using the powerful but harmless venom of the fearsome-looking tarantula hawk to better understand how pain works in the body and ideally help us find ways to treat it more effectively. We can now take tissue culture, which has the nerves that cause pain, and then we say, okay, we can put something that makes the, the tissue culture indicate pain. Now we can do the chemistry and pharmacology of what can I put on that tissue that stops it? As far as treating the pain of getting stung by an insect at a summer picnic, he's got a tip. Salt and a little bit of water just to make it into kind of a cool paste. What does salt do to a sting? We don't know. That's one of the fascinating things. It's kind of one of these, these home remedies. The venom actually gets injected fairly slowly into you. But buzz off, all you daredevils. Justin Schmidt has a warning. I don't want you to be like me. I don't want you to go out and get stung. I'm getting stung for you know scientific reasons, not just entertainment. But I do get the sneaking suspicion that you love these stinging bugs. Oh, absolutely. How can you not adore these? I mean, you look at their life histories, so you can see the beauty of what they do, why they do it, how they do it. It's just so fascinating.